Hi everyone. So I have been holding a lot of my empties just to be able to film this video. So I thought, let me clear up some space and finally film this video. So here is a look into my empties from the last few months. I want to say here we go. To be honest, now that I'm looking at it, it's not a whole lot. So the first one is this uh, sheet mask. It was uh, 30 sheet masks from Hada Besi Wrinkle Facial Mask by Crazy. I have actually just reordered this. I received it just this morning from YesStyle and uh, I really like it and it's also very good value. There were 30 sheet masks and I got it for I think $36, 36 Australian dollars. It does give a little bit of a a dewy glowy kind of a feel the following morning i only use it at night and i leave it on for 15 minutes and i was very happy with the results so this is my first empty now this one this was this is a day glow serum this is 20 percent c plus ferulic acid plus hyaluronic acid plus tocopherol which is vitamin e so this one I had read, I had just ordered it from Amazon and it is supposedly a dupe of the SkinCeuticals Vitamin C plus C plus Ferulic Acid. It's a very um, iconic product but it's very expensive. So I ordered this dupe. Actually I haven't finished it, there's still quite a bit left in it but it, it started to go orange. So you know as you may know Vitamin C it's not very stable. And that's why it's always sold in uh, dark glass bottles. When it starts to go orange or dark yellow to orange that's when you know it's it's probably oxidized it's no longer beneficial for you and that's the color this one started to get so i can't use it anymore i'm just gonna throw it away unfortunately okay this one you know it looks like a prescription sort of uh, ointment but it's actually available at chemist warehouse this is just a vitamin e cream uh, it's made by Blackmore. So this is an Australian company that makes, uh, you know, multivitamins, those supplements that uh, are very popular also. So fish oil tablets or iron supplements and things. So I saw this vitamin E cream in the same aisle where they have, you know, uh, breastfeeding supplements or pregnancy supplements. So I thought, let me just give it a try. And I was very impressed with the ingredients that they have. So it's purified water, glycerin, lanolin, tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E, cetyl alcohol, which is again a very good skin condition conditioning kind of an um, alcohol, fatty alcohol, uh, avocado oil, apricot kernel oil and a couple of other things. It also has a little bit, a very tiny percentage of retinyl palmitate which is vitamin A, uh, sunflower seed oil and a whole host of other things which I mean the ingredient list was very impressive and it wasn't very expensive either so I just picked it up and this one is also finished. How was this cream? I think it was very um, emollient, it was uh, very rich and it was perfect for the winter time here. Uh, towards the summer, like it's summer here in Australia now, it felt a bit sticky. But overall I think it was a good cream, uh, very nice clean ingredients. This one is by Mizon. This was the Collagen 100 something. So uh, supposedly it's collagen which you can topically apply and it will give you that youthful plump skin. Um, I don't know if uh, applying collagen topically can deliver any benefits. You know, things that you apply topically, they probably don't even penetrate very deep into your, you know, deeper layers of the skin, you know, the dermis layer or below. So um, I think it's more like a serum that uh, I didn't mind, but I don't think it did much to boost my skin's firmness or anything. But I did finish it up, it wasn't bad. And now the rest of the products that I have, they are all from one company. And before I show it to you, I should, you know, a bit of a disclaimer. Um, so every year I go to India and I go visit my sister. My sister is a huge fan of Ole, uh, especially the Ole Regenerist line, which is, you know, the one in the, these kind of red tubs. So she is a huge fan of these uh, Ole products. So every time, I usually go to India during Christmas time and around this time of year, uh, Ole, just like most other companies, they come out with their gift sets. So I had bought a few gift sets to take to India last year. And as it happened, I ended up not going to India. So I had all those gift sets to use. I could not return it because I had lost the receipt. So all of these empties that you see, they are all from Ole. All, the, all of them are the Regenerous line and I finished all of them. So we have, and bear in mind, these are not all the empties because you know, in the beginning of the year, as I was finishing it off, I was uh, getting rid of the packaging, as in I was disposing them off responsibly. But these are the ones that I only started like accumulating over the last five or six months. 
So we have three of these. These are all the, you know, the only regenerist micro sculpting cream. This I think was one of the first ones that actually had, uh, you know, all these magic ingredients that you hear about all the time. So hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, ceramides, and all of those amazing things. Now this one is the micro sculpting UV cream with SPF. So this has SPF 30. I went through quite a lot of these bottles, but this is the only one I have saved. And this one, I actually quite like this one. So this is the, <laughs> I like this, but uh, the naming could have been better. So this is called the Oli Regenerist Miracle Boost Youth Pre-Essence. Yeah, that's what it says youth pre-essence what what does that even mean like it's you know if you're into korean skincare you know they have an essence and they also have a toner um, but this one is a pre-essence what the hell does that mean so it turns out this is a niacinamide booster sort of a thing so you know it'll it'll regulate the oil production on your skin it'll have some um, skin brightening effects it'll try to even out your skin tone so it was very good it's more like a the texture is more like a serum but it says uh, use this product after cleansing and toning but before using the serum and facial moisturizer so it's a bit odd but i quite liked it so that completes my empties and um, i still i'm still using up some of my ole products uh, and that's why i have tried to you know change up things a little bit i've gotten a little bit bored of all those ole <laughs> Ole products and that's why I ended up buying a few things from Yes Style and also from The Ordinary. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!